Hello, Baku International Fellowship. I, I have some good news and I got some bad news for you. The good news is we're going to do church on Sunday. The bad news is we're not going to be able to do it together. Um, I wonder if you'd answer this question for me. Why do you come to BIF on a given Sunday? I'm sure it's not for the coffee. Uh, we could get better coffee at, BI, or at uh, the BRC. Uh, I'd like to think you come for the sermons, but you know, you can get sermons in a lot of different places. And while we have some really good musicians and all, uh, um, YouTube has some fantastic music with strobe lights and fog lights and everything else. And what really draws you to BIF on a Sunday? Uh, I, I really think it is coming together. It's the, the sense of community and, and relationships, co relational connection that brings us together every week. One of my favorite times of the week is to, after the service, to, to walk out of the, the, the room there, the ballroom, and walk through the lobby and hear people laughing and talking and some of them praying and uh, even some crying. But the key is that we're doing it together. You see, we're, we're made to do life together. That is the way God created us to be. Uh, and that's not just for Christians, that's all of us. I, watching the videos from Italy and uh, see the people out on their balconies uh, uh, singing and dancing to one another. They're confined to their apartments, but they find a way to connect on their balconies, singing and laughing. In the United States, I hear there's some communities that are encouraging their, their people to put up their Christmas lights again. So the, the family can jump in the car and drive around the community and see Christmas lights, some way to connect together. You see, God knew that. God knew how he created us. And the writer of Hebrews says, don't neglect getting together. And so that's a, that's a hard thing to do these days. Uh, it's not a good idea, really, to get together. COVID-19 has dramatically uh, changed and changed our world and, and it's dramatically changed it so quickly. Uh, a month ago, nobody had ever even heard of the term social distancing, but here we are. And uh, social distancing is really the, the opposite of what Christian fellowship is all about. So what are we to do? Well, the elders met on Wednesday night and um, we came up with a solution. We have it fixed, uh, obviously not. Uh, how can we be the church together? That's uh, the thing that we were looking at. When, when, when we're not able to be physically together, how do we put it together? There, there are really no quick fixes. But what we are going to do is we're going to join with really, literally thousands of churches around the world that have gone online with their worship service and, uh, and come together uh, virtually uh, on the Internet. So at 10 o'clock this Sunday morning, uh, we're going to uh, stream a service for you uh, on the Internet. Uh, we'll send you the, the link where you can log on to the YouTube and, and watch uh, Neil who's going to be our host. Uh, several of our worship team leaders have caught together. They put together a, a worship team, a worship uh, a music package. And then um, I'm going to continue the, the series that I began a few weeks ago on a walk with Christ to the cross. It's interesting, this particular week, um, this third week of the series is uh, Peaceful Under Arrest. And as I looked at that, I was just amazed at how at what God had put in my heart to, to preach on this particular week. Uh, in regards to what our world is going through, the chaos and the panic that we're living in. And yet we have Jesus as an, a perfect example of what it means to, to be at calm, to be calm and to be at peace in heart. Um, the elements that we're gonna have in this video that we'll be streaming on Sunday morning are not unique. Uh, you could go to YouTube and get some really hot video, music videos and. And I know that you could dial up a lot, of, a lot of famous preachers to hear them preach. But what we want to do is, is connect with you personally, for you to see the people that you are used to seeing on a Sunday morning, to hear from them. And, and we're going to include more of you in later weeks. You see, this, this is something that won't be just for this week. We have planned to do this now for the next four weeks at least until this, uh, this thing uh, kind of solves itself or, or, or we're able to do that. We're able to get together uh, in that way. So... We're asking you to tune in and to, to be with us uh, Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. And uh, hopefully we can get as many of you on, 
together at that time as we can. There'll be a way for you to actually uh, participate and make some comments and uh, we'll go back and forth a little bit on that, but um, I hope you'll do that. In the meantime, I'd like to just leave you with one passage of scripture. Something that I, I've gone to repeatedly over the last few weeks. God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Even though the earth gives way and the mountains fall into the sea, though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging, there is a river whose stream makes glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, and she will not fail. God will help her at the break of day. Nations are in an uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice and the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Just be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Uh, may you know that reality in your heart and your life uh, in these days. God bless. We'll see you Sunday morning at 10 o'clock.